Hi, this is Mott, and I want to show y'all how to make one of my favorite lemon pies. I've had a lot of compliments from a lot of people, so I'm going to show you how I do it today. First, I use a can of Eagle Brand milk. You can get the generic, which is just as good. And we're going to put it in the pan. you get it all out okay. I put three eggs in mine for the meringue so I'll put the meringue and make sure you don't get any yellow in because if you do your meringue will not be good and the egg whites you just got to make sure you get no yellow in there when you put it because it it will affect your meringue and you have the yolks in the in the pie so we're going to start st stirring it up eagle brand milk and the egg yolks up really good so you don't see no dark yellow and then the only other ingredients we're going to add is lemon juice now i use it calls for a fourth of a cup for one pie, but I like mine a little bit lemony and seem like everyone I've made it for has complimented it more. So I put a half a cup and you can taste it. If you want more, you can put more. It's just kind of your taste. Okay, so we've got it mixed up pretty good. So we're going to pour the lemon juice in. Now we're going to have to stir it a good bit to make it get a little thick. You don't want it soupy. So just kind of... So it takes a few minutes when you put a little extra juice in it. So On the oven, when you preheat it, turn it on 425 and let it heat up a little bit while you're finishing your pie and making your meringue and then it's hot and it gives it more of a golden brown and cooks better. Alright, you just pour it. Try to get all the lemon you can get out. Try to get it all. Okay, all right, we have our lemon pie. We just need the meringue on top now. Okay, now we're gonna make the meringue. This is three egg whites. And I first, I beat it for a little while before I put the sugar in. You try to get it a little thick. You get it thick before you beat it? I get it a little thick and then I'll put the sugar in and then beat some more. That's the key is to beat a little bit longer. getting a little thicker now, so I'm going to put the sugar in. Dump the sugar in. See when I stir it, thickness. All right, we're gonna put it on the pie now. Okay. 
So I try to just go a, a little around the sides. This one got pretty thick. The longer you blend, the thicker it'll get. The longer you beat, I think that's the key. You beat it a good bit to start with, and then you add a little bit of sugar and beat some more, and you can kind of see the thickness of it. If not, it, it, it won't be fluffy, and how you like to make the little curls in it makes it look prettier. And so here's our lemon pie. So we're ready to put it in the oven. Okay, I checked the pie. Sometimes it's halfway brown, so I'll just take my finger and turn it around just a little bit to kind of get it an even brown. And then we'll close it back up and wait a little bit longer. Okay, now I'm gonna take the pie out of the oven. It's nice and brown. Just take two pot holders, put it up under there, and look what we have. A beautiful meringue, lemon meringue pie. And I'm gonna sit it here and let it cool just a little bit. And once it's cooled down just a little bit, I put it in the refrigerator just to let it get cold. Cause you, when you put this top on, sometimes it will stick. And I put it in there for just a little bit and then I'll take it out and put the pan, the cover over it. And it makes it keep it set from running with a little extra juice in it, you know, if you have it sitting out. And I've just found out it does better if you give it to someone, it, it doesn't have juice running everywhere. <laughs> so it works a lot better doing it that way. Okay, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator to let it chill just a little bit before I put the lid on. Just gonna sit it in here. And it really makes a difference. Just let it chill a little bit longer and then we'll take it out and put the pan and then put it back in the refrigerator and leave it. And that's your lemon pie. It's, it's cooled down. So we try to slide it in where these edges are going to hit. And you just barely, you just fold this tin around. And you can see where it's, it's covering the whole thing. And that's the way you want to kind of check your pie plate if you can, just to make sure the tin is up where it's going to be high enough. And after we do that, we put it back in the refrigerator. And I'd say about an hour because it's going to be soft. It takes a little while to get firm where it'd be easier to get out. I'd leave it about an hour before you take it out and cut it, if you can wait that long. One hour later. Who's ready for some pie? Let's go get it out of the refrigerator. Doesn't this look yummy? This just lifts right off. Okay. Let's see if I can cut a piece. It's gonna come out good. It's still a little soft. There. And we have a tester. Well y'all, it may not be pretty. But it sure is yummy. Mmm, this is good, Mom. Thank you. Mmm. Man, that's good. Mm. I think we might need another take on this. <laughs> <laughs> that's my lemon meringue pie. I left it in probably an hour and a half, a little over. But with the extra juice, you might want to leave it several more hours to make it firm up more. But it's good either way, solid or soupy. <laughs> 
This is my lemon pie. I've probably made hundreds of times, but this is the first time on video. <laughs> if you want to see the video, go to Trucker Jim's channel. And if there's any recipes you might want me to try, just leave in the comments. Thank you for watching.